Is fish oil actually good for dogs? Well, of course it is. It's rich in the anti-inflammatory omega-3 fat called EPA, and it's rich in DHA, which is a fat that helps with brain, nerve, and eye health. But if you want to do what's best for your dog, and hopefully the oceans too, then I want to talk about the top five reasons that you don't want to use fish oil and how you can replace it. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Okay, so let's talk about the reasons not to give your dog fish oil. And first, it's just not sustainable. It's estimated that the oceans will be unusable by 2048 unless we stop fishing now. 29% of the seafood species that we consume have already collapsed. And if this continues, then there just won't be any fish left to sustainably harvest. It's important to remember that fish are a finite resource and there's just no such thing as sustainable fishing. It's just irresponsible to pull fish, krill, and squid oil from the oceans and it's certainly not sustainable. Second, the oceans are pretty polluted. Fish today are contaminated with heavy metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic along with dioxins and PCB. If you just have to use fish oil, then at the very least, make sure the company that you buy from has a certificate of analysis showing the product has been tested low in these toxins. And be sure to choose fish that comes from cleaner waters like New Zealand or the Arctic. Now, if you give your dog a marine oil, then just leave a comment below because I'm interested to know what you're using. Now, the third issue with fish oil is that it can have unwanted side effects for your dog. Fish oil only contains two fats, EPA and DHA. Now, you have to be careful with EPA because it's a blood thinner and it can cause bleeding disorders and gut issues if you give too much. And the fourth issue with fish oil is that it just contains a small range of fats. It only contains EPA and DHA. Now, EPA isn't the only anti-inflammatory fat that you can give your dog. There are other omega fats like ETA and GLA that don't just lower inflammation, but they build healthy skin too, and they're completely missing from fish oil. And the final strike against fish oil is that it's low in phospholipids. Now, phospholipids are a type of fat that build healthy cell membranes and help the absorption of the omega-3 fats by forming a ring around them that helps distribute them through the body. On average, fish oil contains only about 1 to 1.5% phospholipid. Now, in comparison, krill contains 40%. Now, that makes krill oil a better choice for your dog, but it's certainly not the right choice for the ocean. Krill are tiny little crustaceans that are taken from the Antarctic oceans to feed farmed fish. We harvest over 250 million tons of krill every year, robbing whales of their food supply. Krill is nowhere near as sustainable as you've been led to believe. In fact, Whole Foods banned krill oil because of sustainability concerns way back in 2012. Okay, so I'm not saying this to depress you, but I hope it's enough to change your views on fish oil. And if it's not, then what I'm going to share next will, because there's a better and more sustainable option to fish, krill, and squid oil. And that's green lip mussels. Now, here's how green lip mussels are different. First, they can be sustainably grown. Greenlit mussels are grown on ropes in the clean waters of New Zealand and they eat the phytoplankton in the water there and this is a good thing because there's a hole in the ozone layer over New Zealand and mussel farming helps prevent algae blooms. Second, greenlit mussels don't just contain EPA so there's less worry about bleeding disorders. Greenlit mussels are unique because they're rich in another anti-inflammatory fat called ETA. Now, your dog can use ETA for healthy skin, or he can easily convert it to EPA, but only if he needs it, so there's less concern about bleeding. And finally, green lip mussels contain 57 to 79% phospholipids, which is way more than krill oil and way, way more than fish oil. Greenland mussel oil is sustainable, it's grown in clean waters, it helps prevent algae blooms, and it's actually a better choice for your dog. This is important. You can help protect the oceans from overfishing and 
Give your dog a better source of omega-3 fats at the same time. It's a win-win for all the beings that share this earth. Now, if you have a question or comment on fish or omega oils, just leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks so much for watching.